Greetings Skyrim fans, it's the last week of March 2023, and we have some exciting new mods on the Nexus that you won't want to miss out on. These mods offer an immersive and dynamic experience that will enhance your gameplay and add a new level of excitement to your adventures in Skyrim. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or a newcomer to the game, these mods are sure to impress. I'm going to start the video now, so please click the subscribe like button once. Then let's get start. First, Dynamic Female Wall Leaning. Dynamic Female Wall Leaning mod is a mod for Skyrim that introduces three new dynamic wall leaning idols for female NPCs and players. These idols will play when the NPCs or players are idling at NPC idol markers, which are normally inaccessible to players in the vanilla game. The animations are triggered based on the outfits worn by the NPCs or players. To use these animations as a player, you will need to have the mod Dovahkiin can lean, which allows players access to NPC idol markers. The three new dynamic wall leaning idols are designed to fit specific outfits, including dresses, pants, and armor. They will also vary depending on whether the NPC or player is leaning against a wall or simply standing near it. The first idol is for female NPCs and players wearing dresses. In this animation, the NPC or player leans against the wall with one hand, while the other hand rests on the hip. The second idol is for female NPCs and players wearing pants. In this animation, the NPC or player leans against the wall with one hand, while the other hand rests on the wall. The third idol is for female NPCs and players wearing armor. In this animation, the NPC or player leans against the wall with both hands, looking around warily. Therefore, the dynamic female wall leaning mod adds a new layer of realism to Skyrim by allowing female NPCs and players to engage in more dynamic and immersive idle animations. It also provides a new level of customization by allowing the animations to vary based on the outfits worn. Second, the Dynamic Key Action Framework. Dynamic Key Action Framework is a plugin for Skyrim Script Extender that enables users and modders to create custom key bindings for idle animations and actions using JSON format data. By placing the JSON files under the directory data SKSE plugins DKAF, the framework will read and load them upon launching the game. It provides the ability to specify the keys and gamepad keys that activate the animations or actions, as well as the form IDs of the idle animations or actions that will be played. Additionally, the plugin offers optional data fields for specifying priority levels and paired idle animation data, which allows for more complex and dynamic animations. The DKAF plugin provides a simple and efficient way for users and modders to customize their Skyrim gameplay by creating their own key bindings for animations and actions. It enables players to trigger their desired animations with specific keys or gamepad buttons, and modders can use it to create unique animations that can add depth and immersion to their mods. The plugin is easy to use, with clear documentation for JSON file format, and its flexibility allows for a wide range of customization options. Overall, the Dynamic Key Action Framework is a valuable addition to Skyrim modding, providing a powerful tool for creating custom animations and actions. Third, Sneak Behavior Extensions. Sneak Behavior Extensions is a SKSE-powered behavior mod that introduces new sneaking actions to Skyrim, such as prone, diving, rolling, and crawling. These actions are inspired by games like Metal Gear Solid V and add a new level of depth to the sneak system in Skyrim. The mod uses custom animations and behavior to create a more immersive and realistic sneaking experience. The crawling action affects the player's sneaking ability, making them harder to detect but at the cost of slower movement speed. Prone muffles nearly all movement sounds and makes detection harder by 50%, but players are unable to use weapons while in this position. The mod is ultra-compatible and does not replace any vanilla sneak behavior or animations, extending the sneaking behavior without being intrusive. The keybinds are lagless and customizable via the JSON using Dynamic Key Action Framework, the SKSE-powered Key Action Framework. All keys are out of the way of vanilla controls, and the mod should work great with grass collision. 
Fourth, Glass Armors and Weapons Retexture. Glass Armors and Weapons Retexture is a mod that adds high-quality retextures to the glass armor set, shield, and weapons, chillrend, CC glass crossbow, CC glass staff, and several other items. The retextures are based on a Midian-born Book of Silence, using their normal maps as a base to create a more detailed and visually appealing version of the glass items. The mod also includes optional retextures for Thalmor glass armor, V. Vanderfell glass armor, Oblivion Artifacts packs Quicksilver Boots, LOTD's Glass Bow of the Stag Prince, Grimsaver, Worm's Tooth Craftable Brimstone Armor and Weapons, and Elsopa's Glass Quiver. It is a textures-only mod, which means that it does not contain any meshes or plugins, making it safe to add or remove from your game at any time. The Glass Armors and Weapons Retexture mod is highly compatible with other mods that work with vanilla glass textures, such as Heavy Armory and Animated Armory. However, if you encounter any major stretching or dark spots when using a mesh replacer, the mod author encourages you to let them know by linking the mod in the comments and posting a picture of the bugged area. Fifth, El Sopa Potions Redone Patches Collection. El Sopa Potions Redone Patches Collection is a mod that offers several patches and add-ons to enhance the potion models in Skyrim. The mod includes an inventory size fix, updates to the vanilla loading screens, and new models for various potions such as Pest Poison, Bulmora Blue, and Esburn's Potion. It also includes a legacy of the Dragonborn patch, an optional Falmer Blood Elixir replacer, a JK's Dragonreach patch, an Alchemy Requires Bottles Redix patch, and a Creation Adventurer's Backpack patch. The mod is available in 4K 2K 1K versions and is an ESL file. Optional ENB versions with ENB lights are also available. This mod provides a range of improvements to the potion models in Skyrim. Sixth, Raven HD TSMP Armor. The Raven Armor mod is a standalone light armor for both male and female characters in Skyrim. The armor is designed with a dark color scheme and features feather-like designs on the shoulders, chest, and back. The mod also includes HD TSMP physics, which adds realistic movement to the armor as the character moves. The armor set consists of a cuirass, gloves, boots, and a helmet, all of which can be crafted at any forge in Skyrim. Additionally, the armor can be tempered at a workbench to increase its defensive capabilities. The Raven armor can be a great replacement for the Thalmor Justiciar robes, offering a more detailed and realistic design. It can also be a great choice for characters who prefer a darker aesthetic. The Raven Armor mod is a high-quality addition to Skyrim's armor collection, providing a unique and visually appealing option for players looking for a new armor set. Seventh, TB's 3D Nettles. TB's 3D Nettles is a mod for Skyrim that replaces the default nettles in the game with high-quality 3D models that have up to 4K textures. This mod was designed to enhance the visual appeal of the game by giving the nettles a more realistic and immersive appearance. The new models created for the nettles are more detailed and have a more natural look, which makes them blend in better with the surrounding environment. The textures are also more vibrant and detailed, which gives them a more realistic appearance. This mod is a great way to improve the visual quality of the game, especially for players who are looking for a more immersive experience. One of the great things about this mod is that it is very easy to install and use. It is a standalone mod, so it does not require any additional plugins or files to function. Simply download the mod and install it using your preferred mod manager, and you will be ready to go. Overall, TB's 3D Nettles is a fantastic mod for Skyrim that greatly improves the visual quality of the game. The new 3D models and high-resolution textures give the nettles a more realistic and immersive appearance, which makes the game more enjoyable to play. If you are a fan of Skyrim and want to improve your gaming experience, then this mod is definitely worth checking out. Thank you for watching this video on the Essential Tez Nexus Skyrim mods for the last week of March 2023. With these mods, you can enhance your Skyrim experience, from improving the graphics to adding new quests and gameplay features. 
We hope that you found this video helpful and informative, and that you will consider downloading these mods for your own Skyrim playthrough. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below for more information on each mod. Happy modding!